right? We were doing our, our uh, thesis statement and it was pretty good, actually. Yesterday, you were doing a good job. Um, let me open the Google Docs. So yeah, yesterday's job was pretty good, actually. We had this uh, part and we were we were building in order to give you context, for example, Jucho, that you were not here yesterday. Yesterday we were starting to learn how to write an essay. Yes, I saw the recording. Nice, very cool, very good. <clears throat> okay, so you are you are familiar to what we are uh, building in the document, no? Yes. Nice, 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 nice. This document in particular was actually very interesting because we were establishing the 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 first sentence of our of our essay where we establish our opinion where we say the direct thing that you want to say and then in the second in the body of the paragraph and the rest you start talking about the details right examples and things like that this is what we are going to do today okay today we are going to build the rest of the body and analyze the conclusion of it but before going there i want to correct uh, alex is that we we didn't finish uh, there was a missing h on weather over here and of course uh, capital letters it says when we are thinking about the best way to work in school projects we have to discern whether it's more practical to work alone to work with classmates or to do work with a tutor in my personal opinion the choice depends on the situation because if the project is very complicated comma if the project is very complicated comma many people and then we need a comma many people can make it very confusing and work alone could be too exhaustive exhausting period we have to check two things do you remember that yeah yesterday we had a lot of uh commas issues right so let's let's review let's go through that part well, something very important from the body and your writing in general is the usage of commas because it's very different from spanish uh-huh Yesterday we were saying precisely two things. What do you remember about commas yesterday? That is only before the uh, the fanboys. The fanboys conjunctions. Conjunctions, exactly. What are the fanboys conjunctions? Fanboys are uh, the name of fanboys comes from each lead letter represents one connector. F for for, A for and, N for nor, B for but, O for or, G, Y for yet, and S for so. If there is a fanboy's conjunction, before that, you need to write a comment. Uh -huh. And the other is when you are using connectors before relative connectors. What are the relative connectors? Which, that, who, uh, whose, whom, etc. Mm -hmm. This is when you use commas. And this is the only way you use commas. In Spanish, though, in Spanish, we use commas to sometimes separate random parts of the, of the speech because we use it to breathe, to stop, breathe, and breathe. No? In English, it's not like that, right? Let's review and let's go through punctuation issues. Punctuation. Come on, quotation marks. Commas. Okay. 
let's type this way uh, one two three four five six seven rules there are seven rules here let me just do this so we identify the rules versus the rest okay so help me reading the first two rules and let's start with number one sophie use commas to separate three or more items nouns in a series Sorry, again. three or more what items exactly uh -huh. items <laughs> doesn't exist okay nouns in a series a small group of experts mostly lovers and some economists have mostly what lawyers lawyers huh the name what is the name of the constitution in the constitution you can read the law ah okay no wait wait wait, wait. <laughs> transition la la okay okay the symbol we gotta remember the symbol let me check where is it mm, right here Say that with me. Uh, uh, it's circular, exactly. It's circular, it's an ah. Uh. Okay. Law. Law. That's right. Law. Exactly. So then the person who professes law is a lawyer. 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 Okay. Lawyer. Uh -huh. Let's go okay. again. <laughs> A small group of experts, mostly lawyers, and some economists has cracked Biden Russia sanctions, which has now gone further and are more weapon weapon mm -hmm. weapon okay, than any previous administration. At the Treasury, the Putty, Secretary Wally at the at the M, and assistant secretary Liz Rosenberg at the White House, Dalip Pyle and Peter Harrell. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I have to continue. That's it, that's it, that's it. Okay. So rule number one, Sophie read, use commas to separate three or more items. What is an item? Uh, a unit, a unit of information. Uh -huh. And usually it's a noun. In this particular case, commas are separating words in a list. Similar to what happened yesterday, I think it was Fer or Connie who wrote a list, no? It was Fer. The, the question was, hey, is it necessary to use a comma there? Yes. Every time you use two or three items, and then even before the, the and, you need a comma. In Spanish, it's very different because in Spanish, when you write E, you don't need a comma, remember? So that's one of the biggest difference from Spanish and English. Okay? The, the list. A small group of experts, comma, mostly lawyers and some economists, comma, have crafted Biden's Russia sanctions, comma, which, you see? The connector comma, the, 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 the comma is used before the connector which. Like we said in the document. Uh -huh. Now, the items that we are talking about is here. Deputy Secretary Wally Adeimo and Assistant Secretary Liz Rosenberg. Column at the White House, comma, Dalip, Sign, and Peter Harrow. So here you have a colon working as separating this item number one and item number two. Okay? That's one of the examples. You can have many other examples, but there are other applications of commas. For example, 
this first line has two commas that have no items, no? Commas can be used also as a parenthesis. Let me help you with... It's probably this one. Well, let's go one by one. Number two. Help me, Jojo. Yes. Use a comma to show a pause after an introductory adverb. However, comma, that, mm -hmm. therefore, comma, researchers are you. As a result, comma, participants, um, after this cured, comma, that. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Mm -hmm. What is an introductory adverb? It's a... Uh, there are words that we use before the sentence to, to give a little emphasis or a different a different intention to the sentence, right? Introductory adverbs include uh, however, furthermore, um, what else? Therefore, we have seen at least before about them, right? Can you think of another one? Another introductory adverb? Additionally. Additionally, very good. Uh -huh. Look at this more. list. Furthermore, mm -hmm. supposedly, surprisingly, you see? Words that can affect the way or, or can give more detail about your opinion. That's, that's the objective of introductory adverbs. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Number three, go fair. Mm, use a comma after two or more prepositional phrases at the beginning of a sentence, when and what. A prepositional phrase tells Tell us the when and the where of a main idea. Call prepositional because it will start with a preposition. From, from the time that US intelligence began warning about Russia's trap, build up, build up mm -hmm. on Ukraine's borders in November. Biden's sensations teams was already drafting the- Again, again, again. What team? Biden's sanctions. Excellent. Biden's sanctions teams was already drafting the blueprint for an economy war on Russia's sophisticated economy. Mm -hmm. That's correct. So this, where is the comma? Uh, in after November. After November, right? After the prepositional phrase that gives you the when mm -hmm. and the where. No, the when and the what. And the one and the what? At the beginning of a sentence? When and what? No, 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 it's when and where. Because the when and where are precisely locations and time that can start with a, with a proposition. In, on, at, uh, usually at, you know, but you have also from, from the time, you see? This is a prepositional phrase. In November, this is another prepositional phrase. Comma. So whenever you are writing um, at the school, comma, it is very important to have blah, 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 because it is blah, 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 you know? This particular comma is very different. Well, I don't know if it's similar to Spanish. Probably it is. But for some reason, many of the students omit this particular rule. Try to try to use it, okay? This time. Number four. Go Israel. And or or but when it joins simple sentence into a sentence. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. The fanboys conjunctions. Right? Rule number four is equivalent to the fanboys conjunctions. Mm -hmm. Number five, Connie. Use commas after direct quotation instead of a colon. A former Trump Treasury official said that when they were in the room with officials from across the federal government during a crisis, meetings all of the roads were like The State Department didn't want to do anything. The Defense Department didn't want to do anything. So everyone at the table will turn to the treasury folks and say, do something or wealth. Can we sensation them? Again, can we what? And sanction them. Sanction, that's right. So where's the comma? When they explain uh, different phrases that they say. That they say. Exactly. What is the name of these different phrases that they say? Quotations. Quotations. Correct. So here you have, for example, do something. Right? This is something that literal that the other person said. Right? We establish the quotation with quotation marks. This is a quotation mark. But also, we use a comma to separate the first quotation and the second quotation. Uh -huh. We quote a lot, especially when we speak. When we say, my mother said, hey, uh, wash the dishes. You know, this is a quotation because I am speaking literally of what, what my mother said. There are two ways to report information, with quotation or with gossip. Do you remember the gossip structures? Like, she told her that he was going to, and we need to transfer all the sentence to past. So there are, these are the two ways that you can report other people's speech. If you are writing, you need to make sure that when you are quote quoting, use a comma after a direct quotation. Just like this. That one is new. Very hard. Number six, commas instead of parentheses. I think it was you. Yes, Sisra. Let me, let me come down. When the last exercise about the gossip, so it's he said that, comma, or no, he never. said that, blah, 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 comma. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. The, the, the comma after that is never a rule. Never, never, never. Because okay. that is a connector of two. Precisely, it connects, it's giving you the, the contrary of what a comma is for. The comma is to separate, and that is to connect. No. He say, comma, that. Aha, uh -huh, like the ones you have here, no? The, like the, which, where was it? Ah, uh, here. Which half, no? The connector that needs a comma only when you are giving additional information to the idea. Uh -huh. In the gossip, that is not connecting additional information. Is only the same idea. He said that. What did they say? Because you cannot say only he said. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. So this connector is used to connect to, 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 to connect a second idea, but that is not additional, it's necessary to the sentence. That's why you don't use a comma. Okay, so Again, again. The 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 exercise of gossip. Where uh, where we use a comma? Never. We don't use a comma. You know what I mean? 
So, in what cases should we use a comma? Uh, in the in the rule number five is to emphasize something or separate. A, if we have a quotation. If we have a quotation, but especially talking about the connector that. Uh -huh. but, uh, again, if we use a, uh, I think that this exercise about the gossip, so because in this exercise we. Uh, we not repeat, but we say literally what happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I understand we separate or we emphasize with that because he said that. Mm, but okay. I know. I know what is a mistake. A gossip is not literal. <laughs> a gossip is probably has the same words, but it's not literal because you are speaking at a different time. You're speaking in past because it happens before. So no, gossip are gossips are not literal. What are literal are quotations. Quotations, yes. Because you are speaking in saying the same time that that the person said. Okay. Right? If I if I quote my my father, for example, my father is not with me in this house. Right? But I quote my father and I say, um, Fernando, you have to, um, I don't know, you have to read more books. Do I have to read books today? Probably yes, or probably not, because I'm working. The time is very abstract in quotations. But in gossips, you need to speak in past. My father told me that I had to read more books. Okay. You see the difference? <laughs> That's the one. Now, coming back to commas, in structure number five, the comma is used here to separate quotations. Um, that's one. All right. Now, number six, separating words in the flow of the sentence. Help me, Jojo. Mm, yes. Use commas to set up words that interrupt the flow through truth in a sentence. <laughs> given that it's um, again, 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 again. The, given the flow of what? Of thought. thought of thought, thought. exactly. Uh -huh. Given that it's untenable for the US and its allies to send troops into Ukraine and even less enable for the U.S. to do nothing at all, sanctions may be the West less bad option. Even so, the, the acceptance of sanctions as an unimpeable <laughs> instru instrument for... That was very hard. Uh, just a second. Here. A war with three letters. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, let's separate it. Peach. Peach. Okay. Peach. Uh -huh. Peach. Peach table. Uh huh. Look at this in the stress. Teachable, able. Exactly. Uh, in B. B. Uh huh. In B. Able. Okay. Exactly. Ah, in B. Not not able. Able is a different word. In B. 
Ta and I is full. Ah, complete. Double. Impeachable. Ah, impeachable. Negative. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Unimpeachable. <laughs> yes. Unimpeachable. Okay. Easy. So, even so, the the acceptance of sanctions as an unimpeachable instrument for good by Biden's team stands in contrast to academic studies about sanctions, and to some degree, what the president's key advisors have written previously. Mm -hmm. That is, look at the commas, okay, here. There is a comma before the connector and, but this is not the reason we have the connector, the, the comma. The reason we have a comma here is because this information is extra information that can usually be put in parentheses. That happened to Connie yesterday, right? We erased parentheses and we collocated commas. Why we don't use parentheses in our in an opinion message? Parentheses are used. Um, that's a very good question. Where should we use parentheses? Comes for parentheses. Look at this. Commas are used in pairs to mark a parenthesis in a sentence. In each example, on this page, the parenthesis is highlighted. Boss Aldrin, comma, original name Edwin Eugene Aldrin, comma, was the second person to set foot on the moon. Here you have a comma. Okay? So... In each example, blah, blah, blah. Commas are not the only way to mark a parenthesis. It is also possible to use dashes or round brackets uh -huh. to show a parenthesis. Commas, round brackets, and dashes are types of parenthetical punctuation. Yeah, technically, this, this introduction is saying that it's the same. Parenthetical punctuation. When used to offset the parenthesis, commas, wait. Choose parenthetical punctuation that assists the reader. Although the use of commas is parenthetical punctuation makes for a normal looking sentence, commas can become confused with other commas in the sentence. For example, last night, Josie, comma, an escaped wallaby from London Zoo, comma, attacked two young sisters, comma. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's a lot of commas. So, okay, 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 okay. This, this article is giving you the tip to use less commas if there are a lot in order to stop the confusion of the reader to assist the reader in this particular case you have commas many commas for different reasons right so sometimes it's difficult to to, to identify which one starts and which one ends is this parenthesis? Is this a list? Or what is this? No? So this example with a mix of parenthetical punctuation is easier to read. Last night, comma. Josie, an escape wallaby from London Zoo, attacked two young sisters, Rebecca and Josie, which is pure confidence, Evans in a bid to steal their crisps, and that makes more sense. Anyway. The article is saying that you can assist the reader, but parentheses or, 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 or round brackets are not usually used in an opinion essay. As I, as I am concerned, probably I'm wrong. I have to investigate that, but that's not common to use. And I think it's less points in a TOEFL test. 
So better use commas in this case, Connie. If you see that there is a lot of commas, then okay, we are going to help and assist the reader. But if not, better use commas instead of round brackets. Got it? Very nice. And the last one, if you are going to use the comma right here, use a comma or pair of commas to set off an abbreviated title or degree, right? MD is for medical diagnostic and PhD is for philosophy doctorate, right? In these type of titles, we use a comma, okay? That's the only way. So, seven rules, golden rules for your comments. Necessary to establish your essay. So, to finish your essay, let's read the second paragraph and the conclusion. Ready? Help me to read Sophie. Secondly, math and science are more important subjects because people need to know them in order to save lives and keep everyone healthy. Doctors, nurses, and medical technicians are all former students of science and math. Drawing from my own experience, my brother recently went to college to become a surgeon. He's going to be studying for eight years. And almost all of his classes will be of this type. For example, he is now learning anatomy, algebra, biology, and geometry, which are all science. Wait, 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 wait. He's learning anatomy, okay. Algebra, how does the algebra. G in algebra sound? Okay, algebra. Aha, uh -huh. how does the G in algebra sound? Mm. The G. The G in algebra sounds. <laughs> the G, the letter G. G. Uh huh. Uh huh. How does it sound? Mm. I don't remember. In the soundboard. You are pro you are pronouncing it. Uh huh. What's the pronunciation of the G in algebra? Algebra. Algebra? Just the G? 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 G. Yeah. Excellent. Good. So then when you see this word, don't pronounce geometry. Geometry. Excellent. <laughs> geometry. Okay. And the other one over here. Geology. Exactly. Super Spanglish. Super yeah. Spanglish. <laughs> Let me help you with. Biology. Yes. Biology. That's right. So let's read again. Now, what is he learning? Mm, he is now learning anatomy, algebra, biology, and geometry. Great. Which are all science and math courses. When he graduates, he will have the skills to heal patients. I mean, I, I mean, illnesses, illnesses, and yeah. injuries because he studies these subjects. For the sake of public health, it is more necessary for students to learn math and science than art and literature. Continue with the conclusion. In conclusion, I strongly believe it is more important for students to study science and math than it is to learn about literature and art. This is because math and science provides students the knowledge to advance technology and the ability to cure the sick and dying people in the world. There we go. Right? Like, you know, this conclusion is, uh, is adding details, but not, not in detail. Like, the conclusion takes the information from the previous part, doctors, nurses, health, Right, but also 
takes information from the first part, right? It says here, this is because math and science provides students the knowledge to advance technology. He spoke about advanced technology when we spoke about overflowing streets and different places to, to um, you know, to pave the new roadways. We we're talking about technology here. And the ability to cure the sick and dying people is part of the doctor. So we are taking relevant information from both paragraphs. You see? The conclusion takes this information and establishes in one sentence. Right? So what you are going to do today is go into your document and establish establish the development of your thesis statement and conclusion. Ready? Let's go. The link is on the chat. In the case of Isra, that we don't have your your thesis statement, you can begin yes. with that part. Okay, what with reaction? Can I change a little my thesis statement? If you want to, okay. Thank you. Why not?
Hey, Jutori, are you going to the university today? I know. No, no, no. I will enter at 12. Yes. Awesome. Okay, perfect. Go on. Okay guys, attention to Jesse, he will take attendance. Hi Jess, morning. Hi, good day. So please, um, we're going to take attendance. Yes. Bonnie? I'm here, good morning. Good morning, good morning, thank you. It's a? Absent. All right. Jesus? Here, good morning, Jesse. Good morning. Thank you, Ben. Alex? Alex absent. All right. Ben? Here, yes, good morning. Thank you, Ben. Good morning. Sophie? Good morning, Jesse. Good morning, Sophie. Thank you. Um, is that? Hello. Hi, sir. Thank you. So, anybody? Uh, anybody else? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's it. All right. Thank you. Good day. See you later. See you.
I have a question with a vocabulary. Tell me. If I want to say like uh, conocer in order to like meet people, but I want to say like no nos conocíamos, it's the verb that I have to use it's no or meet. It's no. no. Okay. Um, there, there, there are two ways with both, with both verbs. We didn't know each other mm -hmm. or we haven't met yet. Okay. Hadn't in past, not have, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, okay. Both ideas represent the same idea. The same. The same thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Teacher, I have a question. For example, sure. in Spanish, I could say, El maestro seleccionó por mí. In English, it would be, The teacher selected by me. For. For me. Yeah, for. By is only, is a conductor for outdoor. And in this case, is think about the word favor. When you do a favor, you do a favor for somebody. You see? Thanks. That's okay. Okay, who's ready? Me.
Connie's done, right? Yes. Okay, let me check. Okay. Why did we have with? Oh, collocation, Connie, here. When you're talking about detail, the auto the, the the correction is giving you the word in. That's because of a collocation. I want to explain it. I I don't understand. The you see the blue mark? Yes. Click on the word and you will get the word in. Yes. That's a collocation. In more detail, uh, because with more detail, you don't do it with in company of the detail. Mm, in English. Yes. Got okay. it. Yes. Now the next one. I have, you have, all of us have. We. Mm -hmm. Should very good comma, excellent. And we should have time to adapt to how will the other person learns. The other person, who which person are we talking about over here? Uh, maybe it's how the other person? Kinda. You're talking about one person or many people? Oh many people. Mm -hmm. So this one should be plural. When you speak in general, use plural instead. I learn. He it learns and other people. Learn. Excellent. And here you can see a clear example of the comma and a not necessary comma. Oh yes. You see? Here's a period and begin a new sentence. Exactly. All conditionals usually start after a period. If it doesn't happen, it can be a disaster when different people work together. Again, when one person works, but when many people work. Work. Exactly. Together. Or maybe it will not be possible to deliver the period on time. Mm -hmm. Very good. The, the before you see the how the other is in blue now. Yes, I can review it. Are we talking about people in general or a specific group of people? Hmm. I was thinking on my examples with the people in the university with classmates. Also, but we are seeing classmates. No, we're seeing people, not classmates. If we say anyway, because again, if you say classmates, you are not talking about the specific classmates. Mm, okay. You see, so in any any of both, you need to omit that because we are talking in general. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's here or here. Mm -hmm. Then if you're working in a project collocation, working in the project. Exactly. On an important project, like a thesis, you should choice. Choice is a concept. What is a perf? Choose. Yeah. You should choose wisely who can be your partner. You must not choose someone that doesn't have the compromise. The compromise. To compromise something, compromise exists. But in English, it's a different word. Mm. To compromise something is, for example, if I have a birthday party mm -hmm. and then a friend of mine invited as another friend, this friend invites another friend, and this final friend has no connection with me, 
starts getting super drunk, breaking things, getting super bad. That's to compromise the party. Maybe it's commitment? Exactly. Um, the commitment to finish an important task or someone that had never submits for contact. On the other hand, on the other hand, you may choose to do the work alone, but it will be enough information for one person. Uh, in my opinion, when the project is not so important, it's not difficult to work together with other people. It's just a matter of reviewing the delivery times. Mm, and me. I don't think it's necessary to separate this paragraph. This okay. paragraph can be together with the previous one. Okay. Mm -hmm. No problem. Mm -hmm. As a conclusion, as a conclusion, collocation, the chunk is in conclusion. In conclusion. Mm -hmm. If you use for important projects, you can decide to work alone or with a partner. But as a recommendation, recommendation is countable. As a recommendation. Mm -hmm. As a recommendation, you should get to know the person well beforehand to avoid problematic situations. Very nice. That's a nice essay. I like it. So, in your case, collocations. No? Yes. Commas are perfect now. Some vocabulary issues, but but collocations and chunks. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Very good, Connie. You can leave. Very excellent, excellent job. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye -bye. You too, girl. See you later. Let's check who's next. Sophie is silver too, right? Okay, not yet. Teacher, I have a vocabulary question. Yes, of course. How, how can I say, like, um, well, in Spanish we say enriquecer. Mm -hmm. How can I write that idea? Have, have you seen, okay, en enrich exist. Okay. Enrich exist, but the, sometimes, People use the translation of nutrir. Do you know that one? Okay, uh, something like feed. No, that's a different word. Let me help you. Out. Okay. Is this new for you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love yeah. this. Your vocabulary. Uh huh. Okay. Nurture somebody something to care for and protect them. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Those are the two words nurture or enrich. Okay, thank you. Yes, of course.
teacher. You done? Yes. Cool. Perfect, perfect. Oof, it's already time. Hmm, I think I'm gonna be checking it for homework. Israel is... You're missing the conclusion, no, Israel? Yes, I finished. Ah, oh, you finished? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you so much. Okay. It's done. Sophie is doing the conclusion and Fed is correcting stuff. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to be checking it by uh, for homework. I'm going to do the checkup and I'm going to give you the feedback. Okay, whenever it's ready, I'm going to pass you the link so you can access again. Okay. okay, right now, let's finish the class for the moment because I have to talk to Chucho. And right now we finished. Good job, guys. Okay, see you later. See you. Bye, guys. Bye.